So I just realized that I've been playing No Man's Sky on and off for the better part of the past 4 years. I'm pretty much a day one player and there's nothing that I haven't done in this game. I finished the main storyline several times, even before it being revamped. I've collected everything that can be collected in this game, including upgrades, ships, materials and everything else in between. I visited countless systems, did a lot of crazy things in it, even built a whole YouTube career out of it for the past couple of years, but the one thing that I never did was showing you guys my main playthrough of No Man's Sky and you have to keep in mind the fact that this save file is as old as the game itself which is something that I'm quite proud of because I never expected for my main save file to survive for this long but it actually did and it's actually really awesome. Anyway this is basically where I'm spending my retirement nowadays after achieving everything I just settle up on this beautiful lush and almost perfect moon as a matter of fact this is like the most perfect moon I came across and it's something that I came across quite recently, so naturally I had to move all of my bases over here, but as you can see it looks drop that gorgeous even with that um, um, space anomaly over there it looks just crazy up in the sky I also have my huge fleet of ships over there and <laughs> for some reason they didn't load properly this is something that they did with the beyond update and I don't think I like it that much but as far as the planet itself this is pretty much like this it looks just crazy beautiful I just love planets or well moons in this case with a purple coating on it and the best part about this is that it also comes comes with no storms one bit. The weather is temperate, um, there's basically barely any sentinels. This is where I picked one of the locations for one of my bases and you probably saw this on a different playthrough that I've been uh, using. This is like one of the penthouses over here that uh, just, uh, just gazes over the entire region and you can see the planet over there as well. So, But uh, also the Batcave otherwise looks pretty similar to that, though of course there are some uh, changes that I've applied with as well but if you saw my previous episode you probably know about this as well otherwise let's go over some of the stuff that I actually got so in this case um, let's just start with the ships because I know this is something that is very important to a lot of people so of course it's not that they are really hard to find or anything but this is something that I got over the past four years and some of them are actually pieces of history that uh, I'm actually quite proud of. Anyway to take a look at all of my ships these are all of them. All of them have a piece of history attached to them. This is like one of my newest acquisition. Fun fact the exotic over here is something that you guys pointed me towards but I couldn't find it back in 2000. 2018. Instead, I found this on that system in 2018, but uh, you know, I came across this first, so I naturally had to buy it. And about a year later, I finally came across this one after countless hours spent on just hunting for it. So naturally, since it's pretty much my favorite ship, this is something that I have fully upgraded. Then there's also this one right here, I got uh, many questions about it, the dagger as I like to call it, but uh, for some reason this was a tier 2 or tier 1 so I had to upgrade it, but I didn't go all the way so obviously there's still some way to go and it cost a hack ton in order to do that, about 2 billion and yeah. 2 billion at the very least is what uh, this entire entire journey cost me in order to do that. So now I'm down to like 300 million and I also spent like a few hundred million on uh, all of the other ships, all of the other upgrades as well and everything else in between. Of course my main one nowadays has become this Horizon Omega. This is like uh, the main ship that I'm using nowadays but even this is not fully upgraded because Everything here costs quite a lot, so if I were to go in and upgrade one of these, it would cost me like a few hundred uh, million units at the very least. Now as far as the starships go, here is what I was talking about, you know, having certain upgrades that are not available anymore to certain players. And one of them I believe was this one, the Photonic Score, I don't think day one players have access to this nowadays. Anyway, as far as my uh, access suit goes, I'm um, sorry for uh, all of this mess in it because I was uh, in the middle of, you know, collecting stuff and all of that. Everything here has been put to maximize the movement speed and, you know, the jetpacks capability, also survivability in here as well. Technology pretty much filled, everything that you can expect from it has been filled. Cargo slots, they kind of have been diminished when I started the Beyond update. I think I had full-on stacks of all of the materials in the game. So it's, it's about the same story on the freighter as well. I had my freighter filled with all of the cargo that I needed, but obviously most of it has been used. What I'm most excited about and what I'm most proud of is this multi-tool, or well, a couple of multi-tools 
that uh, I actually got in the past few years. This is the first one, the Alien Lipstick. I've talked about this many times in the past, but this is something that I got in 2017, I believe. I even covered it here on this channel. So I was actually quite surprised that unlike other multi-tools, this never changed. So this was like my main multi-tool for like two years before I got this one. It's still the main one, but I also got this. And I made like a couple of videos on this multi-tool as well. This is the infamous Black Crystal multi-tool. This was lost sometimes in 2016 or 17, but it was rediscovered in uh, in Atlas Rises, so in 2017, and later on in the next update. Um, if we go over here over the damage potential and all of the bonuses, you will see that there's quite a big difference between this multi-tool, which has way bigger bonuses, Bonuses compared to the previous multi-tool though yeah in this case the yeah they are gone you can't see them anymore for some reason so my lipstick my uh, volcanic mass probe has the old stats which are way bigger than any other multi-tool that you can find nowadays so yeah pretty much everything dies almost instantly Oh yeah, this also brings me to the teleporter list. Since I visited hundreds of systems, this is how my list looks right now. It's almost impossible to navigate over here, and this doesn't even include all of the systems that uh, I've spent my time into. If I go into my discoveries tab, this is how it all looks right now. As you can see, there's pages upon pages upon pages filled with systems and planets that I visited. And to my understanding, not all of them are shown. As you can see, the latest ones are the ones in the Galactic, in the Galactic Hub, the old Galactic Hub from 2017, which means that this only goes to about 2017, not before that. It also doesn't uh, have my initial base, it doesn't have my first base over there that I that I set, but it does have my base in top of the, the tree 3, which is uh, one of the main galactic hub regions in the old, very old, old galactic hub. Anyway, this brings us to our second base, also here on this very planet, and uh, I told you guys, make a base near a portal. You might be looking now at it and, you know, realize that there's nothing too impressive about it I mean there's just one portal it is working and I mean there's some stuff here on the ground but this is not where the action is happening as a matter of fact the action is happening all the way up all the way over there so uh, there's some explaining to do over here which is why I'm going to take this convenient teleporter and uh, go at the top so before saying anything this isn't something that i've built entirely by myself even though this is something that i've uh, changed around a lot because this this was basically uninhabitable when i got it but uh, this is like a plugin that you put in blender and then you can import it back into your game so uh, most of these designs over here like um, how these cubes are being set and all of that have been made in blender but this base was kind of like a concept and there was nothing inside of it. Um, these rooms, for example, were not made out of, uh, well, rooms, they were just cubes, so you couldn't stay inside of it, which meant that I had to change everything up, decorate it, bring it, you know, lively as it is today, so uh, this looked like nothing like how it is today, which is why um, this took me like a week to fully make it the way it is today of you know designing going over the troubleshooting and all of that um, there's like this bar inside where you can go ahead and chill stay with your friends you know watch the fishes or swim with the fishes whatever you want to do um, there's like a clinic that I got inspired to create after seeing a different base from a different player of course it, it doesn't look like anything like his but it's still you know like miles away better than what I used to create also there's the doctor over here research entity whatever his name is so uh, quite immersive I might say so and there's more to it as well I've uh, I've tried to build as much of this as possible um, set all of these aliens up all of these things up that you can uh, check up and visit so like there's gardens here of course this existed before so this is not actually my creation but this here a room that I created you know just fast not nothing too out of the ordinary um, also set up this guy right here when you land with your ship you just come here and he just like takes care of it so you know I kind of like role playing like that even though I know it doesn't make any sense anyway on a final note this is my freighter this is something that I got around the time when I posted this video with uh, how to get a maximum rank freighter in no 
Man's Sky. And this is actually what I ended up getting, even though in the footage I showed you a different one, because I actually found both of them, though I thought that for the purpose of the thumbnail, the, the other one would look way better. But this is the fader that I got, this is the same old one since then, it's been with me for the past two and a half years at the very least. This is at least as old as Atlas Rises. I think that this is something that I got around the time when Atlas Rises just dropped, so since then I kept using it. Anyway, as far as everything else goes, I'm pretty sure I unlocked most of the things on the Quicksilver Merchant, with very few exceptions. I mostly went with the customization options, since I'm a huge fan of that, so most of these alien heads, as well as the new armor sets, I've unlocked them, as far as the community research left me to do that because uh, not all of them were unlockable. In terms of alien words and languages, I'm pretty sure that I've learned all of the words in the game and uh, I got pretty much everything in there, so whenever an NPC talks to me, I literally understand everything he or she or it might say. And this also goes with all of the guilds and the life forms in there. I've done a ton of missions for just background footage, so um, eventually I reached the maximum with all of these uh, all of these civilizations, and I've unlocked most of the things in the game as well. So when I go into my catalog, there's very few things that I haven't yet discovered, or if uh, they still appear grayed out, or in this case blacked out, it's most probably a uh, bug or whatever, because I definitely have a few of these that are shown here as black in my inventory right now. This is a pretty old save file that has a ton of issues. When I'm teleporting to certain locations, my bases are nowhere to be found even though they still appear in the teleport list. I have a ton of uh, other places that crash on me, so if I'm going into a system that has been visited by others, my save file crashes and I can't do anything about it, so there's that. But otherwise, this has been it with my 3 plus year old save file. Um, let me know down below how old is your oldest save file. Post your comments down below and in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate that notification bell. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!